We got something special for the Porsche today. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel today. So we got something very special for the Porsche. It is a new short shifter and it's made by Numeric. This is probably one of the best you can find. And I'm just gonna quickly install, not quickly. I'm gonna try to install this and show you guys what that looks like. Not much of a tutorial, but more of just a vlog style tutorial. I don't know. But yeah, let's check out the short shifter. All right, so already opened up the box. The numeric shifter is nice and greased up. Oh yeah. So this will be the short throw for the Porsche. Yeah, this will make the shifts feel more mechanical and also uh, shorter to throw around. So yeah, should be really nice. Should be a fairly simple install just because uh, we're not doing the cables. Yeah, you guys probably seen a lot of videos where uh, people are changing the cables as well. I opted not to do that for budget reasons. <laughs> and yeah, so because of that, this should be a piece of cake. Okay, so I've watched some videos on how to do this and I just, I'm gonna try my best to just go at it. And I think the first thing I gotta do is take this out. And I have these tools here that help take out like interior plastics and other parts so i'll be using these to pop these out uh, i think this is the only two sides that actually need to be uh, popped out and then this should just come off on its own afterwards or i should be able to just pull that out and then we should be able to lift this up Nothing got broken yet so far. So we can just lift this up and I believe you could just then give this a, loosen this up and you should be able to pop this out. All right, cool. So yeah, basically you're just loosening that up. Like I said, it's not necessarily like you loosen it all the way to one side or the other. It's just once it's loose, you know, like loose to the turn, you can then yank this out. And then of course this comes out uh, as well because you know, obviously <laughs> the size. So. Now you're left with this. And there's some T's here. And there's some down there that might be a little bit difficult to get to. Oh yeah, that might be challenging, but we'll we'll try our best. Well we have to get to them. Shoot. <laughs> Couple of things when you're taking the screws out of here. Uh, one is there's this clip in there, right? That's where the boot clips onto. You need to get this out of the way in order to get to that screw. And then once you do, there's uh, not enough space here to go directly in with your, uh, like you can't just go straight in. You actually, a trick I actually learned from watching someone else's videos, you put the bit in and then whatever little bit of grip you can get on here, it'll come right out, no problem. All right, so now that you got those four screws out, those T's, you then should be able to, because this wraps around down here, and this should be able to just kind of pop out right there, and you should be able to pull all this out. Really get a good look at the shifter and see how that goes. See how this is mostly plastic in here? That's the one thing Numeric has really putting a lot of the work in is the build quality of the short throw. You're also gonna have some screws there and just to give you a look, it's gonna be right there, one on each side. Now, if you open your center console and your little mat here, it's like a little rubber mat, you just pull this out, move that off to the side and then you should have four more T-screws in there as well. Now I skipped through a little bit and I just want to show you guys, this was basically like this and I pulled this out. But before you do that, you have to take this off of here. And uh, this is a different T screw here. Take that off and then it exposes two screws, this one and this one. You get those two out and these, this should just slide right out and you do the same on the other side. Now that you've gotten the sides completely out, there should be another T-screw here. And it looks just like that. 
these are pretty much all the same these two i noticed though they're flat at mm -hmm. the back loosen those up this should be able to you kind of just give these a tug and pull and then these will eventually come out or these this this one will come out and i think you should be able to actually you could probably just leave it afterwards i think i'll let you know in a bit but i think it's just the point is just to get this out of here just like that yep and then it leaves you like this I think we could just leave that there for now. There's this harness here. It's connected to a piece that's connected to the center console. Now this one, you just have to, it's, it's uh, sort of attached to this little metal bracket here. And I guess you could try to technically just try to pull this out, but to make life easier for you, uh, what you can do is sort of um, pull it off the metal bracket. And the way you do that is you, kind of grab like the you kind of grab the bottom part and sort of twist it this way and then towards you and it should come off the bracket and to, just to make it easier to grip this and pull it out and yeah I think I forgot one screw in the center console and it should be under here uh, I could use my uh, prying tool to get this out and there should be uh, one more T screw down in there got that piece completely out look at that <laughs> oh man i am gonna clean this up before it goes back into the porsche it is filthy i wish i had planned a bunch of things to do th to this before uh so like so like for example if i was gonna change this out completely or or resurface it or something it would have been now it would have been a good time to do it but for now it'll just get cleaned up yeah, but yeah, let's move on. Look at that. I've only seen this in videos. Ooh, it is dirty in there. What is this? Oh, man. Okay, so. Yeah, you can see the cables. Again, I'm not changing those. But this whole plastic part, that's all coming out. And we're going to put the short shifter by numeric in. Connect the old cables to it. Yeah. To take out, uh, there's four nuts there. Uh, two right here and then two in the back over there and Should be 10 millimeter Let's do it. She got the four nuts out. These are just hanging on loosely. They should come right out when I pull this uh, Next we got to do the cables now this already undid them. Sorry, but basically all you're gonna do this is spring-loaded here So you're just gonna push that all the way out so that you can pull uh, this little guy out super easy and then next we got to work on these metal brackets here there's basically plastic and metal. Uh, I think what you should do is kind of push the plastic aside and then slide the metal pieces off. And yeah, I think I should use my little plastic tool for that. Sorry, I'm a one man cameraman and won't be able to show you this in too much detail, but I think, yeah, maybe pulling this with your finger and then pushing this out should do the trick you know what that looks like it's just like this that it's gonna pull out so basically you're moving the plastic uh, or squeezing the plastic in while pushing this metal piece out the metal pieces are out now I gotta tell you getting it out from the one on the passenger side is a tiny bit more difficult just because of uh, this part where the screw the T screw goes in to hold down the center console I think that's what that is I'm not sure either way this gets in the way and it just makes it a little bit more difficult now going on to this basically to get this out of here you're squeezing this and then pulling up just be very careful when you're doing this it's all plastic easy to break uh, but yeah should be too difficult just take your time to get this out box shifter is out it is super dirty there. Now I'll show you the shifter and I'll compare it to the numeric in just a bit. Uh, but one thing people have suggested is cutting this or at least slitting it so that you can get the shifter completely down. Uh, so it'll be pretty short. Uh, so I'll probably do that. Why not? Uh, just cut a slit and clean this up. But first let's do a comparison of the stock plastic and the numeric. So here you are side by side. 
here's the plastic all plastic OEM here's the numeric all metal and as you can see this will be replacing that as well I think I might need these parts for here yeah because it doesn't or I'm not sure actually it has to be right hmm okay I'll check that out see what we're gonna do I had to vice grip this thing out and slowly tug and tug and tug until it could come off so if you reach this point uh, hopefully this video helps with that all right so we got the shifter onto the piece now a few things about this okay now you have different levels you can choose i should have showed you that earlier but you'll see if you have one and you can go um there's like three so you can go the shortest which is what it's at right now the shortest and you could go a little bit taller and and then at its tallest now what i was going to say about this is that this bolt getting it in it there are two washers in between here and on each side and it almost seems like only one can fit but you gotta trust that they both fit and getting it on can be a bit of a hassle because you're kind of fighting for it to keep both washers on at the same time now it's impossible in my opinion uh to do it this way so what i would do is kind of lean it to one side while holding the other washer then getting this in the pressure it's so tight that this will actually keep the washers from falling out once you've gotten that done then you could start to line it up with the hole and get this in there and get this screwed on and you should be good to go it's not super complicated but again if you're like me where you know some mechanic type stuff it'll be a bit of a challenge but you'll get through it like okay now if you're like me who you're not using the new cables you do need to take this off of the old one and it's just a matter it's sort of like a ball of just kind of gracefully popping it out so you could get it into the new one and on this one specifically uh the you can just you know match where the shifter is we'll go back onto the shifter one and uh same with the this blue one here one of them's black the the one that's blue will go on to the numeric side the numeric sign side so yeah this piece it is just a pin that you pop out you could use your tool right there the the blue one and it should pop out i'll just show you uh, it's just a little piece like this that yeah just get that in get some leverage and pop that out uh, the numeric one is actually a, a screw so uh, it will be a little bit more secure than the stock one so that's good on them all right as you can see now that's screwed in and should be good to go but i gotta clean inside before i get that back in all right give it a quick little vacuum and this looks much better not perfect but pretty good now like others i've said in their videos and even on i think numeric's website i can't remember they said too if you want to get the shifter as low as possible you're going to cut this carpet out yeah, i'm just going to go at it with some scissors or just be careful not to cut anything else around there and yeah well, let's do it. I cut the carpet and I got grease on my camera now because of numeric. Just kidding. Kind of. Oh, you got to be careful. There's grease all over this. You got to be careful. But yeah, this should be good to go. Let's try to see how this goes in. All right, folks, we're almost in completely. And a couple things to point out. The front or towards the front of the car those two screws getting this mounted on takes a little bit more effort whereas the back kind of just slides right in uh, what i did is i kind of aligned them and with a piece of the carpet that i cut off along with the hammer i just gently started tapping it in now it's in something else numeric makes it easy if you need to adjust these you could just unscrew that with a t and then move these around till this fits then gently get these in and you should be good get these back on you're just going to do the opposite of what you did which is basically pull the spring back and let this sit back inside and let the spring get back in to cover it up and you're golden cool lady <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, Mary. Hello. Now, getting these metal pieces back on, just like taking them off this side was easier this side was a bit of a challenge because of this beautiful placement of where this screw thingy goes in and this is not numeric's fault this is this is just how porsche designed it now suggestion when getting this metal piece back on try going underneath and over on this side first then working this side while pushing the plastic piece and being very careful. This should be all good. Just need to bolt it down and then we'll give it a throw. Literally. She is all bolted nice. Not bad. Pretty easy. Let's see how that feels. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that is, that is tough. That is, okay, yeah, this is something we're going to have to get used to. It is a it's definitely as advertised it is short for sure and it is mechanical i'm just gonna make sure everything's cleared here and we'll see how that feels yeah check to make sure that this actually moves around just fine and i would say do yourself a favor and make sure that this carpet is cut off completely not just a slit or a square just get it all out of the way who cares you're not going to see it once this is installed and uh, it's not about the look of what you can't see anyways it's the performance right making sure that this fits right and moves right and you should be good to go no the numeric shifter comes with a bolt right underneath where the your e-brake is at so I failed to take that off before placing it down. No big deal. I'll just unscrew it and then screw it back on. Uh, so basically you're not using the stock one that comes with it. I suppose you could, but might as well use the one that comes with numeric. It's back in place the way it should be. Everything's feeling nice. Next thing to do, take it out for a spin. Try out this new short shifter by numeric. I have a feeling it'll be really good. Let's do a cold start for the Porsche 987. Now, I gotta say, first impression, the throw is definitely short and it's very mechanical. I love this feeling. This is exactly what I was trying to get out of uh, the numeric so it's just like advertised super short throws very mechanical and yeah just quality built i think you, you could feel it and i think going with with those of you who are thinking of just going with the short shifter and not the cables i think as long as your cables are fine this is this is really good i i wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless i had someone else's uh, car with the numeric uh, along with the new cables but this this is working just fine to wrap things up just want to say i'm super happy with the way this feels the the quality the throws uh you could tell what you got what you pay for and another, another thing i should probably mention is that you know comparing it to the the oem one the feeling itself like i would describe the oem feeling as somewhat sloppy uh, but now looking you know once it was out and you actually take a look at it uh, it's not that the OEM one was like a sloppy design. It was just more meant to be like a smooth travel, long throws, but smooth. But if you ever get a chance to feel like a short shifter, which is originally what I did with the Abarth, and which is what prompted me to want to purchase this one for the Porsche, is that the smooth feeling, the smooth feeling uh, shifter tends to feel a little bit sloppier, in my opinion. Uh, once you get a taste of that short shifter definitely happy with the numeric and i think i'm okay i you know in my opinion without going with the cables you know unless you th you feel like you actually need the cables and again i, I don't have experience trying it with the cables uh, but it you know if you're like on a budget like i was where i wanted the short throw but i i didn't have the budget to go 
uh, like another six hundred, seven hundred dollars for the cables. Plus, installing them would have been—I don't know—that that would have been a lot of work. I'd say go ahead, go go with just the short shifter itself, and you'll be more than satisfied. Uh, I definitely am more than happy with the way this came out and getting it together, putting it together was uh, actually somewhat fun, a little bit of work, but you know, if I could do it, you guys could definitely do it. I would suggest looking at other folks' videos. I'll link two videos. I know one of them is from NorCal987 and another gentleman that also did a short shifter install for two different uh, short shifters. So I'll link them both down below in the description. I'll link uh, numeric down in the description as well. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. Uh, a few tips that uh, I threw in there maybe are different from what you'll see from the other two videos I linked. Uh, if you did like it, please give that a like. Please comment. Let me know if you have any questions about it and share with anyone that might like this content. And please, please subscribe. Yep, I'll talk to y'all later.